Sunday night in Saarbrücken, final session of the German Darts Open as we play down from eight to decide our eventual winner. Could Menser Sulovich headbutt his way to the title? How about Chizzy, Yellow Mellow, or Pure Intensity? Would the diamond sparkle? And how does Ian White spell relief? Or would one of these two reign supreme, Nathan Aspinall and Michael Van Gerwen, played an absolute cracker today on High Roller Radio? Yes, it's been a dynamite weekend on the European tour. Thrills, chills, spills. We can expect more tonight. Crunch time, baby. What a crazy day of sports, said Jake. Three matches on Super Sunday, three sessions of snooker, the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, and of course, the conclusion of this, hashtag ET4. Indeed, a busy day in the afternoon session. Terrific performances from Asphanol, who averaged 108, Chisnell, who averaged 106, and Sulovich, who was clinical. All winners, as was Michael Van Gerwen, who got by his Dutch compatriot, but only barely. He broke throw in the last leg to beat Raymond Van Barneveld 6-5. Here's what we've got on the cards tonight. Quarterfinals, then semis, and then the finale. Seven matches before we crown our champion. First up, these two. Rob Cross, Gerwin Price, the pair exchanging breaks of throw to start. Voltage on a 127 using bullseye. These fans enjoying the action, watching things intently. They then exchange maximums and holds of throw for two apiece. How about this from Price? Great grouping. The German faithful with their 180 signs out and at the ready. The Welshman, though, was broken in the fifth leg. He got that back in the sixth. Back and forth they went. Quality. Pivotal moments in the seventh leg. First, Gezi missing the bullseye on a 164. He then proceeded to miss five more darts at double. Ouch. Outer ring agony. You can see it here. The Iceman melting. He was red hot. But he countered nicely. Tenth leg, saving the day with this double 12. A clutch 72 checkout to break right back. In the decider, though, Voltage got down first and then pinned double two to win it. Handshakes for Price. A well-played affair, except for those missed doubles in the seventh leg. 6-5, your final. Cross is into the semis. As the game went on, on, it got harder, he said. I haven't hit a double two in six months, so everything is good. I can't complain. How's this for a battle? Adrian Lewis, Ian White, both players from Stoke, both good mates. There they are, not friends today. 80 got off to the better start, an opening leg break. This double 20 then made it 2-0. The diamond, though, settled in nicely. Nice maximum here. He was scoring better. He then found his break, landing the 100 checkout for 3-all. Howdy, partner. Hope you're enjoying the darts. We were back on serve. It got to 4-4, then 5-5. And look at this. An amazing sequence. White with the darts lands the maximum. Jackpot countered with one of his own. Raised his arm. He loved it. But how about this? Treble 20, treble 11, double 14 for the 121, a jewel from the diamond. How does he spell relief? 1-2-1. One, one. What a shot. He almost dropped to the floor there. Handshakes for Lewis. 6-5 your final. Another last leg shootout. It's always hard against Adrian, he said. It was only the last leg we started to play. But I'm through. Very nicely done from Ian White, tweeted the Irish Darts fan. Would be nice to see him in another Euro Tour final. Hugs for the family, then an autograph for one lucky fan. All part of the Menser Sulovich walk on our third quarter final. Facing Dave Chisnell, who was stellar this afternoon, landed the first big blow in this one, too. A break in the third leg for 2 1. The Austrian slowing things down, but it didn't bother Chizzy. He took out 80 for 4-2. Nice response from the Gentle. The 87 checkout for an 11 darter as we look at his stance. That propelled him on to an 8th leg break on double 7. All square now. He was excited about it. The fist pump, the head butt. Yes, he's into it. Guess what? We went to our third successive deciding leg and tension. Both players would mismatch darts, but the man in yellow composed himself, then celebrated, and look at what it meant 
onto him as he takes down a 6-5 nail biter. It was nervy, Chizzy admitted. Luckily, he gave me a shot. Would love Chizzy to win it, said Thomas Dockerell, but no doubt another MVG win. He then added, it's nice when the tournament wins get shared about, so hoping for a different winner tonight. We shall see. The world number one was up next against Nathan Aspinall. He's been having fun with the fans all weekend. Why not? He is playing superb, playing with all kinds of confidence as we cue the ominous sounds of the white stripes. That means one thing. There he is, the world champ, Michael Van Gerwen. The first three legs, all breaks of throw, two of them by MVG. Trailing 3-1, credit to the Asp. Clawed it back, tops here for 3-all. At 4-all, the Asp followed a 180 with this double 10. Then we had 10th leg drama. After Asphenol hit 171 to leave a double, the green machine came up huge on the 135. 25-60, Bullseye pressure darts. Then in the decider, Aspinall landed this maximum, but he'd miss one dart for the match on 106, and you can see the pain, pure agony, because Van Gerwen took out 25 for the victory. Wow, four matches played, four deciders. That was exciting. What a match, tweeted Luke Jones. Aspinall, so unlucky there, but that's why MVG is the best in the world. Brilliant stuff. Yes, Mighty Mike, said Richard Assen. Great stuff. So, then there were four. Ian White, Rob Cross, our first semifinal. Best of 13 now, remember. They stayed on throw until the fifth leg when Cross landed this very nice 180. Some high voltage early. Back-to-back, -back, 11 darters for 3-2, up a break, but not up a break long. Sweet stuff here from White. A clean kill on 76, bang, bang. He held next, then broke again for 5-3 and 3 on the spin. But Voltage got that back here, the 48 finish. Then, wow, cross throwing for double eight. He hit it. It was in. But it fell out, and White made no mistake. The facial expression says it all. This scoreline says everything you need to know about how it affected him. It didn't. Cross firing in back-to-back -back 180s for another break in 6-5. In the 12th leg, wow. White on 52. He hits double 20 instead of the single. Step back, turned to the crowd, had a good laugh about it. Nerve settling in, perhaps. But no, he came back to the board and nailed double six. Cross applauding the effort, 7-5, the diamond wins. Who will he play in the final, yellow or green? Dave Chisnell or Mighty Mike, you think the Dutchman was ready? He gave us this after holding early for 2-1. Chizzy, hanging tough, stayed with him. He was into it as well. We got more animation here as he took out the 110 for three all. Great shot. MVG was poised to break there, so that was clutch. He then gave us the finger point after taking out 126. The world number one counter punch. They'd exchange holds from there. Chisnell on this last start, double six for 5-5. Five, five. We got the finger point, and then and wow, he took out 85 on bullseye. Look at the emotion. A big, big blow he was throwing for the match. Look at this. MVG missing chances to break as well. But so did Dave. Ouch. MVG leveled and then closed it out in the decider for the big roar. Chizzy had it in his hands, but let it slip away. Another decider, MVG takes it. So, there is our final. England versus the Netherlands in a best of 15 for the title. And after all those close contests today, this was certainly not. Mighty Mike dominating from the get-go. Double three here for 4-1. He gave it some. He went even bigger next on the celebration after breaking the very next leg, a commanding 5-1 lead now, he got it all the way to 7-1, but you can mark it down. 8-3, your final, a blowout. MVG clobbers Ian White to win the German Darts Open for the very first time. I've never won this tournament before, he said, so I had to win today. I feel good. I feel great. 
I'm glad I'm the winner. For the Dutchman, the trophy, the winner's check, 25,000 pounds richer, and more importantly for him, another title. His 31st, amazingly, on the European Tour. What a player. He's the best today on High Roller Radio.